constellation of Orion. Waves reaching the microphone are changed into impulses of electric current. No need to worry about your pre-recorded music tapes being accidentally erased. It can't happen. That's right, everybody. <clears throat> we are here for the Ballistics Masters 2018 Land Championship final games of this tournament. 
I'm a bit tongue twisted. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thursday, as usual. The guys are just going to get on the defibs now. The players are joining the service. But I thought I'd start you off with a little intro before we get in. Obviously, this was the final build-up to everything that happened throughout the beginning of the year. Ballistics Masters 2018 tournament. Battlefield 4 action. Of course, Dota running at the same time. But we, of course, are here for the Battlefield action. And I'm bringing you Pulse Eclectic versus DDC Disillusion tonight. Viewer's choice, of course. I had a poll up in the group earlier today. Most of the people chose to have this game streamed. I can only bring you one because all the other games are running concurrently, all starting at 8. And I think that's going to be the same for tomorrow night. But I will be bringing you a game tomorrow. And then Saturday, I'll bring as many games as I can as I'll be at the venue. I think the first game starts 10 o'clock Saturday morning. So I'll try and get there as early as I can. And uh, we can, of course, start you guys up for that Saturday action where most of the games will be happening. And, of course, uh, Sunday's final game in the morning around 9 p.m. Ah, 9 a.m. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's LAN. It's different to online. It's, you know, you've got everyone else standing around you and watching you. For those who haven't been to a LAN event yet, be it, uh, you know, versus gaming at DGC, you know, Rage or Lanix as well, you know, the previous years. So it's a very different feeling compared, uh, sorry, compared to being, oh, sorry, compa compared to playing online, you know, sitting at home, playing with your mates and all that, which just reminds me I played, so I need to lower the volume by 5%. <laughs> oh. Be with Haxel here during the defib. Grenade goes out. These boys aren't wasting time. So yeah, they could have a lot of eyes watching them. You're sitting there, different... <laughs> yeah, this goes down. Different uh, conditions in terms of the, the net. You know, the internet and all their things. And all the things that come with it. But it's mostly, I would say, the... Uh, you know, the background noise. Things like that. Just let the boys know I'm ready. So it seems like Hainan will be your f map first out of the selection by Pulse. Yay, Rocky, welcome. Well, yeah, and of course, big shout out to all of you guys that have joined me so far. About eight of you so far that's tuned in. This should be quite an interesting game. These guys should have played, I think, at least, at least one game prior to this, 5 p.m. I'm not sure if there was a game before that that was this morning. I'm not sure if the first game exactly was only 5 p.m. today. But they've all at least played one game. So if you want to have a look at where things are standing currently, head down to the description below, guys. And you'll see the Ballistics Masters page right there. You go to Battlefield 4. And you guys can get the action, you know, get an idea of what's been happening at the event so far on the on day one of Lanex 2018. Taking place in Pretoria. Hey, Vin. Herman, sorry, man. Uh, I don't think so. Um, Cyber is... He's acting as admin this year, um, as Slung, of course, cannot do that himself. He is partaking in the tournament and, you know, having to manage two F5 teams as well. It's a big deal. So Sabre's obviously there, but uh, it's going to be a case of, Herman, I'm guessing whether... Listen, I'm only going to find out about the internet capabilities in terms of being able to stream on Saturday when I get there. Hopefully, it's not going to be as bad as it was, you know, two years ago when I was there. Um, so, hopefully, it's better this year. And I'll be able to stream, bring you guys at least a 720, 60. If not, 720 at least, you know. Who knows? Maybe the internet's far better. I can actually do 1080p. You know, at least 1080. Uh, maybe not even 60, but maybe 1080 and 60. So, uh, we'll have to see if that will be plausible regarding the internet uh i think performance wise pc wise i think i should be able to handle 1080p 60 frames but it's more about for me personally the uh the internet hopefully doesn't let us down like it did a couple of years ago so yes herman that saturday will be a bit better but um 
today and tomorrow night it's only going to be one game at a time unfortunately i cannot bring you the daytime games the 10 o'clock and even 5 p.m because of work oh wow Colonel jakes thank you again jakes i need to send you a we'll give you a shout out thank you for the sub today i got the notification on my phone so thank you for subscribing to the channel and following me on my page i really appreciate it and, and thank you for joining us it's good to have you here yeah crucial cup is a while back <laughs> so it's good to have you here thank you so much for joining us tonight and of course again thank you to everybody who is here for the action so we're just waiting on two more pulse players of course probably vaping outside as they do you guys don't want to know what the password was for the server but it has something to do with vaping um which is not surprising seeing that zuan plays in this team and uh kyle does as well i'm not too sure if cadaver does play in this specific eclectic team but he was on the server earlier so he might have been just training with the two pulse teams were probably just practicing against each other before this game started no of course herman it's a big pleasure and thank you for joining for taking the time out to come and join us that's why i do it i do it for you guys it's not for me it's for you so no pressure guys don't make the cost to feel you know don't, I don't want any feel ba feels bad mans in the chat, okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it's a, it's a big pleasure. To, I'm glad I'm able to bring this to you guys. At least it's one game. I know it's only one game, and even tomorrow it'll be only one game. But like I said, guys, all the information you need is below you. The Lanex 2018 link is there. If you want to maybe see if there's still tickets available, any, any other information, probably contact details will be there as well, like email and so forth to inquire about tickets. And then, uh, of course, your Ballistics Masters is there. So not even for Battlefield. If you want to check out what's happening in the Dota scene or any other... I think it's only Dota and... Uh... Oh, yes. Yeah, Rocky, I did. Sorry, man. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did get a job. So I'm busy currently. I literally just started my new job last week. So, uh, yeah. I did. Thank you, for, thank you for remembering, Rocky. I really appreciate that. So, yeah. That's unfortunately why I can't suddenly just take leave and my second you know week of work and uh, you know go missing on a thursday but besides that miss go completely missing on a friday so that's why i'm only able to at least you know to bring at least the one game which is the eight o'clock games normally or in this case so uh, because i by that time i'm i'm home by then but i only get home after after five so there would be no point in doing the five o'clock game so i don't want to come halfway through i have to figure out what's happening and all that because i don't have a direct link with for instance, what, what Saber's doing there or any of the admins and things like that outside of uh, the the online contacting, you know, like Facebook and things like that. So it seems like the picks and bands while the bands are done and we have a map pool, which will be Zavod. I wasn't really paying attention to... <laughs> yeah, bear. that is a feels bad, man. Would be nice to have even Max as well. Sorry, Max. I know you're not there, but it would have been nice to have you guys there. It's always entertaining and great fun to have as many of the guys, you know, in the community there at once. That's why Rage is always such a big deal, I think, outside of the battlefield. I think we always get to, like, run into each other and things like that. So that's always the best part. Tell jokes, you know, kind of unwind and vent our frustrations with the game or, you know, certain people in the community or something that happened in a game, you know, things like that. It's a, th that's why I say LAN is very different to online, guys. It's not just because you're now, you know, performing with your team in person. So things feel a little bit, a lot more personal. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was just distracted by Ju. I think he's talking to Max when it goes <laughs> to that, to, to what he just said in chat. Yeah, Bear, what's up, man? Thank you for joining. Thank you for popping in. I know you're also quite a busy man during the day, saving people's lives and stuff, making sure everybody's okay. So we're just waiting on the final Pulse player, <coughs> which I'm not too sure, but we have Salt is here, Axel is here, of course, Kyle Kadev is here, Zuan is here as well. Yeah, you see Max has got it. It's always nice to see your boys in, in person have a few laughs. DDC got the full compliment here, Snake, I could this, Demon Drive, Lover boy Murphy, of course, and Mr. Echo Teabag. Ah, there we go. Storm is now here, yeah? and of course he's got the vapory tag as well, because vape is life apparently, according to these guys. 
So let's just make sure this goes away. <laughs> oh, they're sorry, though. It seems like they were waiting for me. So it seems like they're going to get ready. These guys are pumped. Like I said, they've at least played one game already at 5 o'clock today. <laughs> so this is their last game for the night. And then they'll all turn in. But I have a feeling most of them are probably not. They're probably going to head on out. And here we go. So we will have DDC on your Russian blue side. Pulse will be on your US red. I just want to... Pressing the wrong buttons here. That's what I want to do before the action starts so you guys can see all the information you need. And it's going to be very interesting to see how these two boys for the teams start up from the start in terms of are they going to run forest? Will Pulse put more pressure on the inside? But this is a different Pulse team. This is the, the other team. Oh, you're not? Oh, sh shit. Sorry, dude. But your job is very important. As you can see, Pulse putting more of a pressure on the inside. So everyone's going to rotate. He's going to be your Rocketeer for Pulse. So yeah, TDC putting a man. Lover Boy is far left here. He's going to run straight. Get that dump. Uh, that bomb presence. Demon Drive under pressure. He's going to rotate back. Axel heading up as well. So finds cover behind the pillars. Zuan has support pushing up. Flanking right side. One player goes down. Demon Drive goes out. On the return from Zuan. Snake should see to his left. Does get one at least. Kyle goes down. Bomb is moving. As Loverboy had divs on that bomb. And he's going to go down. Paul's rotating well. The DDC still have players on the inside. Just to slow any push down from Paul's. It looks like they're going to rotate towards that Bravo. Capcom. Like a disc. And try and catch him up. Find the cover. Finds one. Does he? Yes, he does. Good kill. Storm goes down to the headshot. Meantime, Bomb has gone down. Echoes back in. He's got bomb in sight, but he's going to try and clear out with the rest of his teammates. They see one up on the tanks. Salt goes down. Another trade came up behind around the Alpha M. Spots one. Don't know if he spotted the second on the right side. This is Axel close in. He's managed to push up. Does get traded out by Demon Drive, however. He has to go for the race to get the number back in. As Pulse. Eclectic push up. One goes down. Nice early exchanges. Kyle goes for the <laughs> rest before he goes for the kill. He could have got two kills before having to decide on the res. Ooh, the jump shots. Oh, it gets the magnum off the hip. Survives that. Meantime, Bomb has moved around. Level boy is still nicely pushing. He does go down. He should have got that kill. He should have gotten the kill, that is. Impulsive making some headway. They're coming in around the back of Charlie. But they just check it. Psych! He's going for Charlie. Sorry, he's going for that Bravo plant and he's going to get it in. Will Zuan. Good early frags as you can see there. DBC though. Need to clutch one or two extra frags currently. Ooh, good pick off on Salt there. Salt goes down to Murphy on the Magnum. Smoke gets popped around Bravo. Not enough though. Yeah, that second, third smoke, sorry, a bit slow there. Echo though, he's close in. Bomb is being defused. Are they going to be able to clear out? That's who won there, I believe. Snake is close in. Oh! Kill assist has come out though. Defuser did go down. Pulse pulled from the right side. And they're going to get your first MCOM to go 1 0 up in this first map, first half. Last game of the night, of the day. At your Ballistics Masters Lanx Championships 2018. See you at LAN. <laughs> As Slung likes to say. And Zuan's gonna be carrying the bomb early. He doesn't spot... There's a player right here. He didn't even spot him. I mean, I'm not even playing an IC level boy. It was right next to him. I don't know how he did not see Murphy there. 
These guys are supposed to be pro players, huh? <laughs> Salt goes down to Murphy. Murphy clearing up nicely here. Can he get the third? Yes, he does. Well played to him. That's a nice little three stack multi there. Pop some mates. It's the bomb. Meantime, Storm goes down. Let's get the res. Level well, boys managed to move out. Spawns are coming out. This is good. DDC do have numbers now. I think Charlie's going to be the push. Salto is here. Should spot him up. No, he does. Should engage. Yes, he does. If he goes down. The remaining DC players. No, I'm trying to find cover. Okay, this is going to rotate around to the right on the outside. It was with the bomb is, however, quite exposed. And he's now the last man standing. Spawn comes out, though. He's got to peek his corners. Ah, it's engaged upon from behind as he turned around. Check these opposite side. Bomb is carried up by Pulse now. They're going to have a straight shot at Charlie. Very convenient for them. Grenades do come out, though. Echo is more concentrated on that, and they've managed to stop the plant from coming in. Lover boy, though, is carrying the bomb. He's going to hold it close to Charlie here. Uh, I'm not trying to rotate out, just trying to find the engagement first before we even make some sort of movement out. Snake is back here with this unconventional scope on his oh, sight, sorry. On his AEK. Oh, they're just firing through the wooden barricade. Kyle though has to be pushed out. Let's get one. Did not check their right side, DDC. Not allowed. Kyle to stay in close. Plant though, coming in on Bravo, and it does. Can DDC now defend it and bring themselves back into this first half on the first map? Storm goes down. It was really heavy partial. Axel comes around, trying to find his opponent here. Sprayed a bit early, but he does find Demon Drive in the end. DDC though, putting numbers around their B plant. Salt comes around right side, trying to spot through smoke. Doesn't see much. I could just gonna keep popping that smoke, boy. Salt comes in. One goes down. Last man standing. He goes down. DDC doing a great job in defending this smoke usage. Very good. Utilities. It's become a really key part of the obliteration games. In the past two seasons. The first kind of season when the rotation came into obliteration. Not too much smoke was being used at the quantity it is now in terms of utility usage mostly people just ran s'mores and we just kept using s'mores to uh, get rid of those diffusing and defend the mcoms now you've got to actually have some utility ideas some teams out there of course using their um, incendiaries you know if they feel it's it's a kosher choice within their strats they actually would use incendiaries but that's normally the slightly less experienced teams unfortunately the teams are won't necessarily be at land this year. Bomb is available now to pulse as it is moved forward by Storm. DC have to come back from base. It is 1-1 currently, guys. Back to being even for both teams. This first our first map, Zavod. Viewer's choice game, of course. I'll be doing the same for tomorrow's game. It is a really crunchy... Yeah, the Storm is just... I don't know what he's doing with these plants. It's like, dude, just plant the thing. <laughs> Bouncing up and down, he's just stopping yourself from planting. Good cover here by Zuan. Switch back to his... Uh, stick to the other boy. Gets caught up. Good rotation defense here by... By pass. Echo. No, he's too concentrated on the man on the tank. It's surrounded. So I'll clear his, clears up the last DDC player. I think this is probably going to be the first half. Also, Rez coming out. Yeah, so Zuan switching out to Medic. Kind of not putting too much emphasis on the uh, engineer towards the end of this first half. And there you go. Pulse will take the first half. Two to one. I'm going to go quick ad break. So just say one minute ad. And I will see you guys just now.
designed for performance enthusiasts and gamers, Ballistic Sport LT DDR4 memory gets more out of your system. Strike first with reduced load times. Multitask at will with increased bandwidth. And look good doing it. Installation is easy too. With Intel XMP 2.0 profiles, just plug and play and get ready to win with little to no BIOS configuration. We engineered Ballistic Sport to deliver affordable, reliable, and easy to use performance gains. Backed by a limited lifetime warranty and rigorously tested to some of the most demanding standards in the industry, Ballistic Sport DDR4 memory is ready to make an impact in your system. All right, there we go. Back in the action. Just ready to let them know. And again, big shout out to all of you guys for being here. Thank you. Top first half, well played. Yeah, Brendan, definitely. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, guys, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see more action when I go live, hit that notification bell over there. I don't normally punt it, but go ahead and do it. You guys... Will always be abreast of all the action if you're not <clears throat> part of the battlefield group or the ballistics group on facebook but yeah did you see still in this have that first mcom so they're not completely out of it if pulse take the next mcom starting the second half of your zavod map and this time pulse will be on your russian blue ddc will be on the us red sides don't really play too much of a role i believe in this map it mostly comes down to how the teams choose to rotate in on this bomb site. DDC obviously putting emphasis on this bomb site. Pulse putting emphasis on it only after some of the early engagements has taken place and some of the frag action over here. As you can see, rotating three, four, that is. Immediately on the inside around the building to try and fight it up. They don't really care much about where the bomb is going. And this has been a constant strat usage from both Pulse your F5 former XCT team kind of pulse and slungs teams were the first two teams to really not want to put any emphasis on this forest area but now they've rotated from the inside out and they should find two DC players here I could just just before the smoke kicks in finds Axel good predicting prediction shooting there tracking his man quite well Zuan though is going to pick up the bomb doesn't get found. Now he does. Carl should be the first to engage here. Yeah? Before Hexel maybe. Doesn't see much. Get spotted out now. Will Hexel find the kill from behind? He doesn't. Spray is not too accurate, unfortunately. Just making sure no one's coming from his left side. Meantime, lover boy. Just continue to rotate up. Oh, it gets that so 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 so. Well, not exactly a Zozo, but a nice quick flick. Ah! Goes down to that res animation. Ooh, Snake gets it. A couple of hit markers, but doesn't get the kill. Doesn't cover the door now. It's going to pop a good nade. Very good nade in and around the bomb. But Storm is still alive, though. 100% health as well. Turns around just in time. Finds one. That's Snake. I don't know if there's more. I'm going to take some inside. It's being chased, though. Echo is here. Stuck. Yep, they heard him. Holding tight. Meantime, Storm's gonna get the plant in on the Bravo M cop. Did you see they're covering nicely from the outside? Can they use that smoke well again? Smoke's coming out though. As well from the pulse players. Carl tried to toss a nade, gets taken out after. That nade goes out trying to rotate out. Salt rotating back on the outside, covering well. Sees one's clear ahead of him and crushes. He's got a few teammates though. Razors are coming out as well. DDC's got players here. Echo trying to find that snap shot of the, the 0.44. That's man squad. By himself, the spawn does come out though. Pulse is defending this well. Simcom goes, they're going to go 3-1 up. However, DDC still have an opportunity to bring it back. The best they can do is tie it and take it to an overtime round. And that's what they're going to have to do if they still want to try and win this first map. So Pulse now are... 
in pole position to take your first map here. Nice two kills there for Haxor in and around the containers. Cars in the middle. Still around crushes. Teabag trying to check back across. Also is pushed. Salt. Rolling the storm over to the bomb site. Storm goes down. It's traded out. So it's going to rotate back. It's got two to deal with now. Pop meds. Stuck pop in meds. Gets taken out. Well played by Salt. Showing some good experience there. Spawns come out as well. Pop hasn't been collected yet. They've realized they've lost some position on the inside of the map. Smalls coming out. Clearing up the walls there. Trying to create some cover. Salt's going to rotate hard on the right side. Storm's going to try and engage on the in, on the down the middle, looking in towards the buildings. Axe is going to rotate left. So you want a good push there on the far left side into the, towards the tanks. Takes the early engagements. Axe is under pressure now as well. He gets taken out around the red containers. Salt's caught on the inside. He's not alone though. Here's the bomb moving, sees the bomb moving, now decides to engage, doesn't get the kill, he should get taken out, and he does. Two pulse players around the left here, does I could just make it across, yes he does. His teammates come, in, come on in the inside. Final pulse player goes down there, however, time has been given to Storm. Push from base, nice early spawn area, trying to find the legs there. Grenade comes out, small comes out as well from Zuan. He's even had time to spot him. Gets the headshot on the snake. Gets another. Demon driver though. Good position on yellow stairs. He should find one at least. He does. Salt goes down. Key engagement to win. Now oh, he's last man standing. Gets spotted out. Doesn't get killed yet though. They're going to push him. As the defuse should come out. Smoke gets popped. As the reactionary. There's a grenade from Carl. Still players down there. Bomb goes down, DC responding well, yeah they got numbers back on top, rotated out on the other side, Kyle gets cleaned up and DC do have the opportunity, however Storm is still left, just managing Pulse to keep one or two bodies in and around in the crucial areas, you know, just to allow them to fight back and slow the DDC push down, like I said they are on the front foot now, so DDC the best they can do is take it to overtime on this first map. It's the only way that, the only way they can win the map. Other than that, Pulse pretty much three one up now, so they sitting in a nice position. Face it, welcome. Kaylee, hey. Synthesis. Okay. Maybe I should do an ES game tomorrow. <laughs> I see some biased things in chat here, guys. Kaylee coming here with a biasnessness. Snake gets that kill. So one goes down like a dust just surviving as well. Salto close it. Clutching as usual. The man is ripping the frags. Axel as well. 11 for 7. That's the best so far on the DDC. Actually, Echo is the best. 10 for 6 on the frag front. These two boys almost taking each other out there. Meantime though, Pulse, not too worried about what's happening there. They've got the bomb, Salt's moving up towards Charlie. So one's just tossing smoke everywhere. Good utilities. Other boy should hear him, <laughs> he finds him. Hey boy. Oh, he had to win that engagement. The trade did come out though. Good. Good, good trade there for them. Getting Carl high up, which is very, very important. Grenades! Wow! Managing to get it. The grenade just going, that first grenade just going too far over him, technically, and just took splash damage, but didn't kill him, of course. So, just for. So, Nadine obviously knows the, the deal, but uh, Kylie, just for your information, I can only bring one game tonight. Because all the games are concurrently being played at 8 o'clock. It will be the same thing for tomorrow as well. For Friday. But maybe I should do the ES game. 
for tomorrow night. We'll just see who EOS are playing. I'm pretty sure it will be a tasty game. Meantime, also defending their plant. This is to outright win this first half and take the first map. Ah, sorry. Outright win the first map, take the second half. It seems like we're going to do it, DDC. They had some good moments in this first map, but they will go down 4-2. to two. Pulse will take your first map, Zavod. Let these boys know about the ad quickly. But yes, Kylie, before I go to that, as I was saying, due to my commitments at work, I cannot be there uh, tonight, obviously, and tomorrow during the day as well. So I can only bring the game at 8 p.m. But like I said, maybe I should do the ES. However, Saturday, if you're not going to be at LAN and you want to watch the action throughout the day, you can join me on the stream. And then, of course, for the finals, well, Sunday morning. Okay, guys, we're going to have Siege of Shanghai, but I'm going to take you to a quick ad break. And then I'll see you afterwards. Crucial Ballistics Gaming Memory delivers the seamless performance and instant responsiveness you need for total domination. With Ballistics Gaming Memory, you get faster speeds, lower latencies, and aggressive heat spreaders. Advanced features such as LEDs, low-profile modules, and real-time temperature monitoring let you customize your rig further. Ballistics modules are available in DDR3 and the latest DDR4 technology, which is faster, has lower voltages, and greater capacities than DDR3. Choose your level of performance with sports, tactical, or elite series, and crush the competition with ballistics. Accelerate nearly everything on your rig with a crucial SSD. Slash load times. Get into your game faster and access files, games, and apps almost as soon as you click on them. Choose the form factor that's right for your build and destroy the competition with the power and acceleration of a crucial SSD. All right, guys, we're into the second map now. And remember, it's all about slashing those load times. So check out those crucial products. You can get to the website below of all our fabulous sponsors, Crucial, Antic, Scientic, and of course, Red Dragon as well. And further down, you'll find the Lanex link. So Siege of Shanghai, second map, pulse, one map up. They will be on your Chinese red side. DDC will be on your US blue and there is a slight advantage here on this map depending on where you start and that will be DDC with that slight advantage of having first dibs at the bomb so smoke goes out on main a lot of it so they might actually run straight down main I think and they will they're gonna push two down one goes down though I believe it was probably from the grenade other boy made that progression should get found out and he does so, DDC eggs in one basket. With that push, Axel's gonna come around. He's gonna clear out at least one, and now DDC on a tough position. His pulse have been given a little bit of room now to move on up. Okay. Ah, oh, good hit there. Our level boy around mannequins. Shooting back towards Salt. They're clearing out nicely. They are being pushed though. But it's only Axel's. Oh, Hacksaw remaining here. Yeah? Triple seven comes around. Gets Echo. Did he see now aware of where he is? <laughs> Jake's everybody loves this map. Because <laughs> it's like the go-to map. It's always normally in the in the map pool. Most teams don't ban it out. It's uh, it's somewhere in the rotation. Uh, is it the fur the first, second or the tiebreaker map. So Pulse now have dibs on the bomb. DDC though can set up that defensive position as they now do have to go into defense. And we have a new subscriber. 
Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Yeah, chocolate chip cookies. I'm with Jake's on that one. Kaylee, if you could add Sophie's though, I don't know. Maybe you could. That would be quite amazing. Meantime, Pulse have rotated up. Storm's gonna get planting on Bravo. DDC a little bit spread out. Trying to find the cover. I could this is smoke. Hitting that corner against the wall there. Smoke's not gonna do much in terms of damage. That you're gonna use you have to either use a grenade or your gun for now. Echo's in a space where he doesn't know what's really going on and DDC smokes have actually helped out Pulse more than it's helped up helped out themselves. Couple of shots trying to go in on Snake. Yeah, but I think because Kaylee's asked for ES and I think not Nadine has also I think expressed interest in the ES game. Maybe I'll bring the ES game tomorrow night. Demon Drive goes down to Storm. This should be the M comp for Pulse. And it will be. They go one all up in this first half, second map. See the Shanghai. It is also it's one of the I would I actually like Dawnbreaker for domination as well. I'm not a I'm a Jake's a more of a conquest guy. I've always been a conquest guy in the battlefield term in within battlefield. So but so in a, from a conquest point of view, this is not my favorite map. I really don't really enjoy it. I'll probably take Olmud Railway over this map for conquest. Meantime, DC trying to get out of spawn. Or at least their side of the map and they just can't find any space. Demon Drive's been spotted out. He's just trying to fire through with an M9. He's gonna get taken out as he reloads the AEK. Meantime, Paul's trying to find some sort of movement down. The mid, so he hides behind the boxes. Yeah, it's confirmed. They made him once. Yes. Way of the player, jumps are coming out. Rotates back to what? Still in this comfortable position. Pulse don't really have to push it too much. I could just has managed to rotate around. I don't know if he can stop anything. He's by himself. He does get spotted out. Spawn did come out in time. Yeah, Pulse managed to clear it up. Oh, so yeah, Jakes, you were thinking about Dom. Yeah, Dawnbreaker is for me one of the best games. Ah, oh, sorry, the, one of the best maps for domination. I agree with you on that one. Again, this and Siege, this map and Siege is not really my, sorry, this map and Dawn, they're not really my favorites when it comes to uh, Conquest. Dawn mainly because of the, uh, the aerial vehicles and Siege also because of the, area, the choppers and stuff and all the guys hiding on roofs. Did you see? Can they get in close on Alpha? They do have a man. We're gonna stay with Lover Boy here. The spray's coming through. He has to clutch this. Grenade's gonna be short. And he should be able to defuse it, and he does. I'm so glad I got onto that just in time. He's managed to rotate two players on the mid for Pulse. Carl. Take that one now. He does go down. Good play. Do you see have an opportunity now to rotate up? Get themselves back in the game as they did in Zavod. When they were 1-0 down. Still a lot of time on the clock. Charlie's going to be that push. Smoke's going to come out. Clear indication, obviously, that Charlie will be the plant. Bomb goes down. Once you've played this map so many times, you know exactly where to aim through the smoke. Second attempt does come through for DDC. Meantime, Echo's going to go down. Last player is going to do it down. And Pulse should be able to... Oh, Wayne predicting your F5 element final. Okay. But Wayne, can we really... Can we really... You know, leave out a team like Pulse? Even though they've seen a lot of changes, they've still got a lot of continuity with a lot of players that we know and love. So they can still pretty much compete quite well. But it would be cool to see a little bit of a change up like a DDC in the finals. The ALG Vanguard team, also the experienced players as well. Meantime, Pulse finding their way forward. Alpha is going to be the push against Snake from the pressure from both sides. Bomb Carrier does his job as Hexel. 
We'll pop meds while he gets that plant in. Demon drive being pushed from his right side. Hold spawn just in time. They're struggling to clear out this player. Salted is. Oh, his rotations have been so good even in that first map. The guy was getting crucial frags and he does again. Good multis with an M4. DDC just can't get out of the spawn area. They're just being spotted out early. They know where the rotations are. Okay, this is smoke hitting the glass. I don't even know if he knows if he knew he wanted it to go there. I think we might just find it a little bit tough. Maybe. Wait, wait, wait. More smoke. Somebody's got to go for it. Who's going to clutch it? Okay, this is going to get caught out here. He does. Okay, it's up to Snake now. It's up to Snake. We're going to stay with him. More smoke, but they saw him. And they kill him. And Pulse, take your first off of the second map. Two MCOMs to know. And that puts DDC in a really bad position as they take you to another ad break. Let's see what we're going to bring you. Ah, let's bring you this ad. All right, so I, go, I will see you guys in a, in a minute. Get back straight back into the action. Hey, Chantal. All right. I am now ready when we get back into the action. So, Pulse clearly on the front foot in the second map. Taking that first half, two M comps to null. DDC unfortunately not having the opportunity they had in that first map on Zavod. Having that one M comp from the first half to carry over. So, Pulse on the front foot here. They'll have first dubs of the bomb as well, but I don't think they're going to push too hard too early in terms of their strategy let's get this information out of out there for you guys so you guys can see it I'll get into the action yeah so DDC lose this MCOM they're gonna lose the whole vibe mm, that's not gonna be good so Pulse just need one MCOM from the start actually they just need one MCOM in general so, it's going to be very interesting to see how they start off here to the Pulse players. I don't think... Yeah, they've all gone meds. Medics. Same with DDC. Or no engineers. So I'm not going to push any smoke because I don't think they plan on pushing main at all. Yeah, so they're going to go to what's now become the, the simple defensive strat from the US point of view. There's one man on the back end here. And the four across, but they've pushed Axel quite far up, so he's going to be. So they've chosen to push up on the left side. Salt dealing with Demon Driver here. With Demon Drive. Still fighting it out. Still in the mid. Echo's trying to get rid of Salt. Create some space there. Wait. Salt getting going out. Demon Drive is causing a bit of problems. And as I said, Boston really need to push too early. Lover boys behind the barricades here. Grenades being traded. That was actually a very good grenade. Just slightly over. Oh! Pulse decides to carry the bomb now. Got two players on the, on the UC side of the field. Carl rotates nicely, clears up that main. And they've managed to push DDC more closer to the waterfront side. A lot closer to the waterfront side. <laughs> it's like closing the container. 
Uh, both players going down to Storm. Well played there. Plant coming in on Charlie. Plant goes down though. Thanks to a handy grenade by one of the DC players there. It was Lover Boy. DC all cleaned up. And they got to now spawn back at base. Plant's going to come in again by Zuan. As the meds get popped, Kyle's been pushed up on Eskies. He's overlooked nicely here. Sees one rotate on the far left side. Remember, guys, this is LAN. I'm not too sure. Uh, Jakes, we don't go to third map if the game, if one team wins two, it's best of three. So the third map is normally just, it's obviously just there for the tiebreaker situation where both maps have been 1 1. You know, it's like 1 1 on the map count. So we need to use the third map. I could just clearing up one, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be pulse and this is going to be it. Yeah, this is pretty much going to be it. And that's the GG. Got both teams. Well played to Pulse. And they've beaten DDC tonight. And that's it, guys. <laughs> I could just finding the game very moist, as one does. Guys are just now shooting each other up. Make themselves feel good about themselves. So there you have it guys. Thank you for joining me tonight for this 8 o'clock game. I'll bring you another one tomorrow and it will be ES that will be involved. So we just, just got to check the schedule to see who exactly they will be playing against. Who they're scheduled to play against tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. But that will be the game I'll bring you tomorrow night at 8. Once again. And then Saturday, I'm going to try and bring you all the games for the day. And that should start from 10 o'clock in the morning. So I have to wake up early. Damn it. <laughs> but I will see you guys then. But I want to say, just come back to it. I want to say thank you once again to all of you guys for joining me. And I thank you for joining me this Thursday evening. And I'll see you guys tomorrow if you do pop over. If not, please pop over on Saturday during the day and sunday morning as well that will be at 9 a.m will be the final game so it'll be interesting to see who makes it there but uh i'm looking forward to it guys this has been the first broadcasted game of the ballistics masters 2018 lanx championship taking place at lanx 2018 in pretoria guys again all the details in the description below if you want to check out for any more information that is where is lanx taking place are the tickets available any contact details Furthermore, you can see the rest of the action pertaining to Dota or Battlefield and what's happening in the other games. Please go check out the Blizzix Masters website. It is below in the description as well. You just head over to BF4 as well. Check out the two teams. It's the Pulse Gaming Facebook link is there. And of course, the DDC website as well. And then you can check out all our lovely sponsors below. Scientec, Crucial, who bring you fantastic ballistics products antic and red dragon peripherals it's a pleasure guys thank you as well Harman, for joining thank you to everybody who didn't necessarily type in chat but thank you for just lurking and joining this broadcast tonight guys i will see you tomorrow night have a good thursday evening it's friday tomorrow so all we got to do is get through it <laughs> And we'll, we'll be good. Alright guys. Be safe. Cheers.